From a freak sinkhole in China that nearly swallowed a man and his dog, and a crane in Dallas, Texas that almost destroyed a priceless piece of art, to a bus fire in Paris that made them rethink their entire e-bus program, and much more. Here are five incredible moments caught on CCTV camera. Sinkholes are common in China. Water can easily seep under the pavement and weaken the soil. All it takes is a little added pressure, and the road can randomly collapse. In the county-level city of Yuanping, China, a local man was walking his dog when he heard something strange behind him. He turned to see a scooter coming down the road, but that's not what had him worried. Keep your eye on the man and his dog. A scooter rides by, then another comes up behind. The man turns his head after hearing something strange. Then the road collapses behind him. He takes off running with his dog while the scooter rider probably has no idea. Look at how close those cars came to falling in. The sinkhole triples in size as the night goes on. By morning, we see how big it really was. According to reports, the pipe you see in the footage had ruptured. The leak weakened the soil, which caused the sinkhole. Now, far away in Ankara, Turkey, something similar happened when a water main burst under a parking lot. Get ready to meet the unluckiest person in the Turkish capital. Our driver was parked outside of Nazgada, a small Turkish grocery chain. The sinkhole opened perfectly around his car, causing it to dip into the parking lot. Things get worse as the night goes on. You can see the moment when the car is fully submerged in water. The next morning, firefighters helped pull the car out of the sinkhole. Later on, a truck arrived to vacuum out the water, but it ended up falling into the hole as well. The Dallas Museum of Art, or the DMA, is home to 24,000 objects and artifacts. Some pieces date back to 3000 BC, others are more modern. It's a staple of Dallas, Texas that narrowly avoided catastrophe on April 3rd of 2015. According to the museum, there was a special event planned for that weekend. This event called for a massive tent on the front lawn, so massive that they needed a crane to set it up. The operator got into position and thought he applied the necessary counterweight. Spoiler alert, he didn't. That giant red object is among the DMA's most iconic sculptures. Ave by Marc de Suvero has been resting on the South Lawn since 1973. The crane's job was basically build the tent around it. It begins lifting one of the crossbars, which was, apparently, heavier than it looks. You can see the back legs beginning to rise. In fact, those legs didn't look very secure from the start. The crane topples and the crossbar falls. One of the men doesn't realize what's happening until he sees his co-workers running for their lives. The crane landed on the museum's roof, but didn't cause any structural damage. They're lucky, too. Just a few feet to the right, and it would have taken out the second-story balcony. The driver was ejected from the cab when the crane toppled. He was taken to the hospital and treated for minor injuries. Francis RATP is among the busiest public transport services in Europe. They have a fleet of 4,700 buses, 500 of which are electric. Unfortunately, they may need to rethink the entire e-bus program. That's because in April of 2022, two of them randomly burst into flames. The first was on April 4th, when an empty e-bus caught fire on Saint-Germain Boulevard. It sent a plume of thick smoke into the Paris skyline. Thankfully, nobody was injured. A similar scene occurred on April 29th, when another empty bus went up in smoke near the National Library. Keep your eye on the roof as the bus begins smoking. A tiny explosion, and then boom! The whole thing goes off like a firework. Sparks rain onto the street as the fire stretches several stories. Another bus takes off moments later, not wanting to suffer the same fate. Street-level footage shows us how violent the fire got. RATP suspended the e-bus program until they could solve the problem. Of their 500 e-bus fleet, 149 came from a company called Bolloré. As you can guess, both fires occurred on Bolloré buses. 
The RATP demanded a full report from Bolloré explaining why their buses had a habit of catching fire. While there are plenty of electric vehicles on the road today, it doesn't mean we've perfected the tech. Things can still go wrong. Just ask this EV owner whose car burst into flames while charging. That looked more like rocket fuel blowing out the back of the car. We can't tell if there was someone in the truck or if the fire damaged the brakes, causing it to roll back. Either way, those three owners will have a bone to pick with the manufacturer. The country of Thailand is known for many things, but one of which is their geography. All around the country, you can find sharp, towering mountains and lush green landscapes. It makes for a beautiful sight and also a perfect recipe for landslides. There are three seasons in the country, cool, hot, and rainy. The rainy season typically runs from June to October and is at times pretty severe. Back in September of 2021, security cameras at a COVID-19 field hospital in the northern part of the country caught the terrifying moment when a powerful landslide came crashing down the mountain. The power of the landslide is almost unbelievable. You can see how destructive it was by the debris left behind. Thankfully, though, locals saw it coming in time and were able to escape, so there were no injuries reported. A monk who saw the landslide reported that it was as loud as a jet engine. In a video examining the aftermath, you can see the huge boulders that were thrown into the building by the landslide. Thailand is not the only country that has a landslide problem. Other Southeast Asian countries, such as Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines, are also especially predisposed to them. Despite the destruction, nobody was injured in this event. Get ready for the craziest bank robbery you have ever seen. On October 12th of 2018, staff at a small Chinese bank gathered in the break room. Then, out of nowhere, an unexpected guest crashed their meeting. The branch manager leads the most formal staff meeting we have ever seen. She's in the middle of some corporate jargon when a ceiling tile collapses. Everyone looks in horror to see a five-foot python curled up on the floor. They scatter like mice as the python slithers around the break room. The poor little guy just wanted to make a deposit. It slithers under the couch moments before another man runs in with his phone. One guy was brave enough to stick his head under, looking for the snake. While pythons aren't poisonous, they still pack a mean bite. Off camera, the branch manager called the Wildlife Conservation Center. They came and got the snake out of there. The craziest part of this story? This wasn't the first time a python made its way into the bank. Something similar happened a year before. Only that time, the python didn't fall through the ceiling. It's likely that both snakes were someone's pet that managed to escape. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.